The morning after I returned from Whitefish with the new truck, we drove 200 miles east to Edmonton so I can be dropped off at the airport to catch a flight to San Francisco for a conference. We still had a handful of things to take care of on the new truck before we were able to leave Jasper. First of all, we need to locate a truck canopy to fit all of our gear and stow it safely. We will also need roof racks to carry the cargo box and stand up paddleboard. Lastly, since our new truck is 2 inches taller at the hitch than the van, we needed to order a 2 inch drop bar from the manufacturer of our hitch. That proved to be the most difficult task of all. Only the manufacturer of our hitch makes the part and getting it shipped timely to Edmonton was quoted to cost more than $200 plus the cost of the part and whatever we might pay in Canadian customs. Ultimately, I had an overnight ship to my hotel in San Francisco and I hand carried the 50 pound hunk of metal on the plane with me. Its dimensions barely qualify as carry-on luggage and getting through TSA was interesting to say the least. While I was away, Marlene and the kids spend their days hiking, swimming in hot springs, and searching for wildlife. My flight back to Edmonton from San Francisco was scheduled to arrive after midnight. Rather than making a 200 mile drive back that same evening, I booked a night at a hotel with a swimming pool, which they got to hang out at while waiting for my plane to arrive. It allowed us to spend the next day getting the truck canopy installed and picking up the roof rack parts before we returned to Jasper to wrap up our stay there. I think the top of the shell must like taper back a little bit. I mean, this looks fine. It looks straight. Okay, here we go. Second way to Alaska. We're going to Alaska? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. Who's going to Alaska? Right now? Well, we've been going to Alaska the whole time, but here's a road that we're turning to go to Alaska. What is it called? 325 kilometers to Grand Prairie. Huh? That's a lot. It's a lot. It's 9.30, look at the light, we're here uh, just outside of Laird Hot Springs Provincial Park. The campground is full, but there's this kind of turnout just across the street. There's all kinds of trucks and campers here, so that's where we are. We're going to spend the night here and try to hit the hot springs tomorrow. Since we got the truck hitched to the Airstream, we've done about 700 miles. Maybe a little bit more, maybe 750. From Jasper to Grand Cache, Grand Cache to Grand Prairie, Grand Prairie yesterday. From Grand Prairie, we drove to Dawson Creek. Dawson Creek is what we got to last night, stayed the night in front of a Walmart in Dawson Creek. And that is where the 
official Alaskan highway starts at mile zero. And from there, we made it all the way to Fort Nelson for dinner. That was sort of one shot. We ate dinner at Fort Nelson, just not much of a town. Got gas at a couple places. From Fort Nelson, we drove to um, a place sort of halfway between Fort Nelson and here for another stop for gas. Actually, we got gas twice. Every time we saw gas, well, actually, not every time. We probably saw well, a place to get diesel in three or four spots along the way between um, Dawson Creek and here. We got gas twice, or diesel, I should say. So we're about 100 and 20, 130 miles from Watson Lake, which tomorrow morning we're going to try to hit the hot springs. Uh, it's supposed to be really nice. We're going to check it out, take a dip, get back in the get back in the truck and continue driving until we get to Watson Lake. And the goal, I think, tomorrow is to get to um, I guess. No, not White Horse. Maybe White Horse? Gosh, seems an awful long ways from here. But definitely Watson Lake. Either by lunch or just after lunch. We're going to have lunch there. With so much daylight, it's easy to put a lot of miles behind us. It's 10.38, actually. Sunday, June 21st. 10.38? Yeah, it's Father's Day, still. For another hour and... 22 minutes. Dad, you put the little hand at 10. Ava can show you. But I just want to show what's little going on here. At 10. It's 10 30. Okay. Summer solstice. Look at the outside. Oh my god, my mosquitoes coming in. 